ladies and gentlemen, so we're now here at Pepcom and you know I did a lot of virtual reality like Oculus, DevKit 1, DevKit 2 but here we have something very special from ODG, the R7 glasses. Right, great. So, so basically the glasses are just like a high-end tablet that you would wear on your head. Um, they have dual 720p displays uh, powered by a Snapdragon 805 processor, dual batteries in the temple, uh, 64 gigabytes of memory, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, GPS built in, a front-facing um, 80 frames a second high-speed video camera point of view, and multiple IMUs for head tracking. So the glasses can do augmented reality, virtual reality, and basically all of the applications that you could do on a normal tablet. We have a custom OS on, in the glasses, but it's basically on top of Android KitKat, so it's very compatible with all your favorite Android um, uh, applications. And this is actually a very special pair of glasses. So the R7s, um, so the R7s are actually on this young lady right now, but this is actually a very, very special pair of glasses. This is a technology demonstration, has all the same features and functions as R7 would be, but it has a 50 degree field of view, 1080p, dual stereoscopic displays, right? So, so it, it is an amazing... So it's full it, HD per eye? So it's full HD per eye, right? So you can do normal video. It's got a, a cinematic wide um, aspect ratio, 22 by 9. And it was developed so that you could do wide field of view AR and beautiful interactive entertainment, whether that's VR or whether it's normal um, cinematic production. Okay, so it's compatible basically with all those stereoscopic Android applications? Absolutely, absolutely. And it's got stereo earbuds, right? So the, you know, the latest Dolby 5.1 sound. Um, it's got a front-facing camera, and again, it's got the IMU for head tracking. Okay, and since it runs a very powerful processor, so what's the battery lifetime of it? So it really depends upon what you do with it, okay. right? It's just like your phone or with your tablet. So if you're watching a movie, or if you're doing email, or if you're browsing, it's going to last for um, many hours, four or five hours. If you're doing high-level um, augmented reality where you have the Wi-Fi going and you're streaming content and you have the cameras and all the IMUs going, so it'll probably last about an hour or two. Um, but for those applications where people are really using them heavy, mainly in industrial and, and enterprise applications, we actually have a clip-on battery pack that you can just pop on with magnets onto the USB port, right? So like Apple. Yep, just, just like that. And all the, the earphones, they're also magnetic as well. So you just put them on, snap them in, you're ready to go. And yeah, um, it can do a lot of stuff, but how do I control it? So great question, great question. So it has Bluetooth low energy, so there's many ways to control it. First is we have a, a, a Fing controller that is actually MEMS based. So this is like a mini air mouse that you use in the air to control the glasses. Kind of like a Wii for your TV, but for the glasses. So that's one way. Also, we have um, Android buttons and input buttons here. Um, on, off, uh, return, Android mem uh, menu, sound up and down. And we have a cursor built into the glasses so you can scroll through the icons and okay. control the glasses this way. We've also developed an application called Reticle OS that runs basically on any Android smartphone. And so you have an Android phone in your, your pocket, you download the application, and the glasses take over the control of your phone, and they become an in, input device for the glasses. And voice control is also available. And voice control as well. There's actually two microphones in the glasses, right. one for the user and one for ambient, right, for, for, uh, for, the, for the video and for, and for na noise cancelization. So you can actu actually speak to the glasses as well. And we have many applications and third parties that are actually using the voice in industrial enterprise applications. Sounds pretty good, but can I quickly try it? I wish you would. Okay, all right. Here, just the, let me make sure it works. Oh, okay. Okay, so, so basically what you're going to see is The Martian, the movie The Martian. So watch, the, watch your controls on the fingers. Just slide that over your head like a hat. There you go. Oh, wow. So you should be able to see a big, beautiful display, seven, uh, 1080p to both eyes. It looks like an holographic display. Absolutely. That's pretty cool. Absolutely. So that's, that's The Martian. So let me give you some 3D, all right? All right. So I'm going to go into... Uh, Another one, tell me when that's up and running. 
Oh yeah, the trains. So you should see absolutely 3D coming at you as well. That looks pretty, pretty good. Take the take the, one of the earbuds and put it in your ear and get a sense of the audio. Sounds also pretty good. It's, it's not like an Oculus, like you would see a, a grid. It's, it's pretty sharp actually. Right, a, absolutely. You, you'll, see, you'll see no pixels. Yeah, right? full, not. full HD to, to, to each eye. But you don't really feel so immersed like with Oculus because you still see all the environment. Yeah. So now you can see around and you can see through. But these, these, uh, these shields are actually um, magnetic. So I can pop them out and put dark shields on, and oh. now you are totally immersed. Okay. So remember, these glasses do both augmented reality and virtual reality. So I'm showing you movies in the in the augmented reality setup. Okay. But think about if so, if you were um, a commuter and you were riding on a train or a bus, right, or in a plane, you still want to be connected with your environment, but you want to have this type of cinematic experience. That's pretty good. Looks way better than Oculus, in my opinion. All right. Glad to hear it. Okay. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah, and, cool. and remember, this is totally battery operated, and you, so you don't need to have this, right? This all runs, it's all self-contained. And when is it going to be released? Or? So the R7s, which are the versions that we have today, they're available. They're targeted mainly to enterprise and industrial yeah. applications. Um, they're available today for $27.50. We have um, a, a VAR network, evaluated reseller network in 15 co uh, countries uh, around the world that's growing as we speak. This is actually a technology demonstration that we're showing today. Okay. So it's a, it's a glimpse of the future for us, that interaction between wide field of view AR and immersive VR. And um, you know, we're, we're not introducing a product, and we're not introducing a price, right? But you know, th this is the future. Yeah, exactly. It's really great. Okay. So, thanks for showing this. Uh, my for pleasure. Appreciate and it. I'm really looking forward to the final version. Okay, good. Appreciate Thank it. You. Thank you.